Hey guys, about to play a match with our Zada Hedron Grinder deck. Looks like we're up against Zada, and I, uh, not Zada, Lazav, and I think we keep... Don't have a lot of ways to make a bunch of tokens uh, right away, but we do have, you know, some of our good tricks. Um, and our Thopter Assembly can make tokens, and so can that. So, for now, we just play land. I'm trying to make this go away. There we go. That's much better. So we play our Pyromancer next turn. Opponent willing to go to 38. Isochron Scepter. Don't put a counter spell on that. Echoing Truth. That's almost as bad, especially against our deck. It's like crazy good. Need to draw Artifact Hater. We probably just can't win this thing. Um, but we'll play our young Pyromancer. <clears throat> He can bounce like all of our tokens, <laughs> so it's a horrible matchup for us. We can try anyway. We do have artifact removal in our deck, so maybe we draw it. Probably play our goblin chieftain and just swing for four here. Seems like a good move. Okay. He doesn't actually have the mana for his scepter yet either. Which I guess is worth keeping in mind. But we'll just play our chieftain. He'll give Zada haste if she comes into play next turn. And then we can downhill charge basically immediately. Um, but it's not going to be like uh, anything close to lethal. So we probably won't. He's using his top. Oh, playing his top. That's right. He put it back on top of his library. Hmm. Yeah, we probably play Zada this turn, see if she sticks. And then if she does, we can win pretty quickly uh, with downhill charge plus teamer battle rage, which is pretty gross. If our opponent lets us do that, we'll be pretty happy. Um, chances are decent he has a counterspell, especially because, yeah, Lazav, it works well with counterspells, so seems possible, maybe even likely, um, but we're going to go for it anyway. I'm going to play Zada. Hey, she resolves. Um, so if we downhill charge right away, what happens? We'd have to sacrifice a mountain, so they'd all get plus two, plus zero. We'd also get an elemental token, uh, but that's not great. He can also bounce something this turn, so that's something to be aware of. It looks like he will. I'm guessing he targets Zada, probably. Yeah. That is annoying. It's going to make it hard for us uh, to do what we want to do, which is Battle Rage um, plus the other stuff, so... But it's not all bad. We're putting down to 30. Okay, if he doesn't hit a land here, we could downhill charge, rouse the mob, and teamer battle rage, which would just be like an out of nowhere win. But he has the mana, so it's not going to work out that way. Okay, I really wish I could blow up that Isochron Scepter. Um, so we'll play Zada. Uh, we can still do Rouse the Mob plus Downhill Charges turn if we want to in response to him bouncing Zada. Um, and that would give everybody plus 5 plus 0. So we just swing for 14. Not quite enough yet, um, but it's good to know we have that potentially coming our way in the near future. Bounces Zada again. I mean, the good news is he has to leave this mana up, and we're slowly beating him down. And once we get Zada and extra mana in play, we can crush our opponent pretty quickly uh, with the uh, 
spells that we have just just by you know pumping these two guys because everything's going to get so big we already played a land all right he's leaving all his mana on tap this time which i don't like the looks of or is he demonic tutor okay Hmm. Getting a counterspell or a wrath effect seems pretty likely. Uh, I probably try to resolve Zada here. Oops. Sorry about that. Try to resolve Zada here, um, and then I can go for it with uh, five mana. Yeah, I can do rouse the mob plus downhill charge plus teamer battle rage. Should be pretty sweet uh, if we can do it. I mean, if we get our opponent to use Isochron Scepter here, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, that's pretty nice. So what happens if we do Downhill Charge plus Rouse the Mob? Uh, the Charge will give plus 4, plus 0. So that would make these 6 power and Rouse the Mob 8. Actually, we still can't kill him. We'd only hit him for 16 if we did that. So that's not exactly ideal. Uh, do I try to play Pia and Karan Nalar? Since if he bounces that, he's you know not going to be in as good of shape. Um, I think we declare combat and swing with both of these. And I'm going to play Pia, Pia and Karan Nalar, which would make it so... Should it survive and resolve and all that, uh, next turn we can win the game with Zada plus various things. See if it actually resolves. This is not something he's going to want to be bouncing, is the good news uh, for us, because we can just keep making Thopters every time we play it. He can bounce the Thopters, though, of course. Uh, all of them for two mana, but it still puts one more body out there, so that's nice. Probably is what he does, is bounce the Thopters. Echoing Truth is way too good against our deck. It's, of course, what he had to have um, on his Isochron Scepter on turn two. See you later, Thopters. So, if we can resolve Zada this turn, I think we're in pretty great shape. Like, even if he, you know, bounces it, we can cast all of our spells in response, pump our whole team, and go for the win. Because we'll be giving... If we draw a land, we actually don't even have to sacrifice the mountain. Oh, we actually don't have to now, either. So they would get plus 5, plus 0, so they'd all hit for 7 alone already, which is 21. Then Rouse the Mob, then Teamer Battle Rage. So that should destroy our opponent. Um, if he plays Lazov right here, we should still be able to bust through for enough lethal. He is playing Lazov. Okay. That only destroys artifact creatures, unfortunately. But we can also use it to pump our whole team by one or make them all unblockable. And I think that's probably worth it. Um, I'm going to play Zada. Oh, we don't have the mana to do all. I have to play Zada first. What was I talking about? Uh, yeah, we'll play Zada. Uh, we can do downhill charge plus team or battle rage still, and that'll be pretty devastating. Um... So yeah, I'll play Zada. And we'll go to combat here. He's not bouncing anything yet. Hmm. 
I think downhill, downhill charge plus battle rage is probably the best uh, plan. We can make our whole team unblockable. Let me see if that would be enough to kill him, knowing he probably bounces something. If we make them all unblockable, then downhill charge, he, he would take uh, not enough. Uh, he would just take 18. So there's no reason to waste our unblockable spell right now. I'm just going to declare combat. Okay, looks like we're going to get him to use his scepter, which is what we want. I mean, you know, it's not ideal, but it'll work. Okay, so in response to that, uh, we're going to say... Um, I guess we can just do downhill charge first. We'll choose Zada, and we'll sacrifice a mountain. Oh, this is what I'm placing on the stack. Uh, and then we have to choose all of our new targets. Fortunately, our elemental won't be able to attack yet. Um, and we'll let all of those triggers happen and then before the echoing truth resolves we'll also use teamer battle rage all right so now actually doing rouse the mob plus hearth charm oh i should have done hearth charm already i could have made them all unblockable and then done rouse the mob so they're all going to get trample is the good news. Uh, so I think this is still going to be lethal, even though using Rouse the Mob would have like guaranteed it. So now we do Teamer Battle Rage. And that should give us the game. Unless he has a counterspell. Even if he has a counterspell, all the other triggers still happen. Yeah, our opponent's scooped. All right, well, that's what Zada can do. Just, you know, even with an Echoing Truth in play there, we managed to get around it and just pump our team so much that he couldn't stop it. And it's nice that Zada can get around control decks like that because her triggers happen no matter what. Uh, as long as you're casting the spell, it happens. So thanks for watching. That was the first match. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.